Hello, welcome to week seven. Hey guys, it's week seven of my design challenge. It is the mammoth week that is photography, editing and listing. So photography week, um, kind of a bit of a love it or hate it for me. Um, both I enjoy it because it's really creative and I get to play around but I also really hate it because I feel like I could do much better and um, the photographs they come out good but not what it exactly what it is in my head and I find that a bit frustrating. I make a um, photography list um, and that's a list of all the different shots that I want to take of all the different pieces as well because uh, sometimes I've got so many pieces in a collection I'll I'll forget to do it. So um, so this is my handy little notebook. So um, so landscape, triceratops, stegosaurus, and then it, it lists the kind of shots that I need to get. So close-ups, medium shots, long shots, mixed shots, held shots, modelled shots, and with the packaging as well. So this is quite a lot of different things to make sure that I remember. Hence the list. Um, it's really handy to just tick it off as I go along. And then it's the fun stuff. It's the creative buying of props, which I do enjoy doing very much. And um, for this photo shoot, I had lots of fun. Um, so I grabbed myself one of these. Ooh, it's a fake palm leaf. Um, now this wasn't used in any of the photography, this was used in a little video um, that I was making of the collection because I thought it'd be cute as well as to do photographs, to do a little video. And this kind of revealed the collection from behind it. Hopefully the video works and uh, the buying of this prop is good. But um, I can use this for loads of different stuff. Look, look at this. I think it's hot in the summer, I can do that. And I also got... These, how cute are these? So, um, for the dinosaurs, um, I envisioned envisioned um, like a landscape, a sandy, rocky landscape, and um, I wanted some like really cool little bits of foliage in there. And so, the first thing that popped in my head was fish tank decorations. So these are from Amazon, and I just placed them here and there in the photographs just to give it a little bit of colour and I'm so happy with these ones because you, as you can see it's like it got an ombre effect of purple going up to pink and some really gorgeous um, oranges as well which really contrasted really nicely with the pink and the purple um, so yeah they were awesome I'm really happy with those and also we've got this huge mammoth um, roll of bright pink paper that was the um, back ground for the photo shoot and basically all I did was lay it on my desk um, and sellotape it to my desk as well so that it didn't move around because I made that mistake before <laughs> where I haven't sellotaped it down, set everything up and nudged it and everything ugh, fell apart so yeah. And I also used uh, some magnetic sand uh, for the props as well for the kind of like sandy landscape. Lux plays with this sometimes and um, so I went on Amazon and I ordered some nice purple and it's really glittery as well, it, it's really cool. Um, and that was really fun to play with actually because um, it kind of held the pieces in place, it was really easy to mould, it was really clean and tidy because as you know, like, you know, if I used real sand it would have gone absolutely everywhere but this is really easy and so I'm going to use this stuff like all the time if I ever choose. So once all the props are ready and all the jewellery pieces are in place it's time to take the pictures and also videos because I've done a few little videos as well. I start off in a good place and then I go slowly down, well I go very fast downhill, I take a few pictures and I'm like oh my god this is terrible, <laughs> this isn't looking good at all, it's a bit dark and stuff and it's not quite right and it takes me ages to do it as well um, but I, I got into the grips of it, moved stuff around, took some pictures, took some pictures on my phone as well because sometimes that, that, that's quite good to kind of see it on my phone straight away, kind of I guess um, imagining what it will, might look like on Instagram or uh, on my website and I just went ahead and took the pictures because they were, they were good, 
As well as photographing the individual pieces, I will also be modelling this collection, um, which is a nice and simple, easy setup. Uh, I do it on the other side of the room uh, to my office because the light's a little bit better over there. Um, nice and simple tripod, camera, uh, with a remote control so that uh, as I'm standing in front of the camera, I can click uh, my remote control and take the picture. Um, I try and do it as quickly as possible because I'm not uber confident uh, in front of the camera. And while I was shooting, um, I was also referring back to my shot list at all times as well, making sure that I ticked off as I went along uh, to make sure that I was on track and not forgetting anything. Once the pictures are taken, it is time to edit the photographs. And I am going to be doing this mainly in the evenings uh, this week, which is cool with me. I like working in the evenings. As I say, put on Harry Potter audiobook and light a candle and it's all good. I'm in a happy editing place. I use Photoshop um, to edit my photographs and I also uh, use some actions on there which is basically like filters. Um, and I bought them on the uh, A Beautiful Mess website um, ages ago, years ago. And they're so good, I literally just click them and then I know exactly the ones that I use. It's kind of like a formula, I guess, um, for the for the shades and the colours and stuff and, that, and they work out rather well. So I try to use around 10 pictures per product. So if there's seven pieces in the collection, then that's 70 photographs to edit and sort out, which is, you know, a lot of work. Um, and then they get uploaded onto my website and onto my Etsy shop as well. It's a nice easy process and right in the descriptions um, can be a little bit tricky sometimes but um, I've been doing it long enough so I think it's fine, I think I'll be alright. The main thing about um, listing them on the website is that they look good as a collection together and the basis of that is good cohesive pictures and photographs which hopefully I've done. I hope you like the way that the photographs are looking so far. Fingers crossed they're looking pretty and uh, cute and do the jewellery justice. Um, and get ready for next week, week eight. Oh my gosh, launch week, um, which is currently um, going on Tuesday. Uh, yeah, I can show you guys like how I'm gonna package it up and everything. Oh, oh my gosh, it's crazy. We're, I feel like we're gonna need some sort of party music or something to to uh, yeah to celebrate the launch of the dinosaur collection oh my gosh you guys thank you so much for being here and supporting the collection oh my like yeah I, I can't put into words how much it means to me that you guys are here supporting it and everything and all the different decisions that you guys have made I really hope you're loving it um let me know <laughs> what you think of it um yeah it's crazy it's crazy to think this is the end oh my gosh and next week we're going to be choosing the next collections what oh it, it's gone so fast so fast so thank you again and i will see you next week for launch week Woohoo! launch week see you later guys bye